Welcome back to Miss and Mutt's Garage. And today, well, <laughs> we'll get to that. But wanted to update you guys on what's been going on with life, Misfit Mutts, and Baker's Boffins. So you might have seen Baker's Boffins mentioned here and there on our Instagram or Facebook feeds. And it's my home business. I do it with my wife, Kathy. She started it about two years ago as strictly a laser cutting business, but it's turned into more of a jewelry fabrication and uh, arts uh, stuff manufacturer and she sells at local flea markets and in five or six stores now she's really doing well um, for small home business and I joined her so I was a mechanical engineer working for a product development firm and decided that I had had enough of not being able to dictate my own work time my own clients any of that and I got a great opportunity from a family member to see what I could do with myself. So here I am. I'm going to be continuing to do some product development on the side. I have a computer with SolidWorks, a nice little 3D printer, which you'll see some products up here and there. And for now, small home shop, but that will be growing. So right now, see the background? We have Mini. We have my buddy's Peter's car and my buddy Nigel's bike which we are just finishing up we finished up the mini yesterday and the bike hopefully today whenever the front tire turns up we've done a few cute little mods to it including a 3d printed rear light bracket which holds this little tiny guy on works really really well there's a few other bits and pieces but we did full t carb tune up on her new tires on her Changed the oil, uh, resealed the uh, the tank, which was just infuriating. Put some clip-ons on, remounted some other stuff, and she'll be back later. We're gonna do a uh, bicycle seat style on the back, uh, a few other mods, clean her up, paint the frame, really make her nice. Uh, so that'll be a fun winter project. Um, but yeah, so this is what I'm doing. The other thing you'll see is some mini products. So I have some ideas I want to put out, put into production, try to get a little bit of side income to take the uh, stress off finding new clients and stuff like that. And you know, I've got 20 years of product development under my belt, uh, working for large med device companies, smaller and more nimble product development firms, and now myself. So I'm going to take some things I learned from companies like Motosis, where I worked. This is off the bike. I think it was the second electric bike to ever do the Isle of Man TT at over 100 miles an hour. The first bike was its sister bike. So great fun project, uh, fun company. Um, you know, was great working with my passion of things with wheels and my background in product development. And that's kind of where I hope to take this. But all of us, we're growing, we're doing, and sometimes we make mistakes. So last night we had a fairly good rainstorm and I wasn't quite thinking. I was moving uh, Trey around to get him ready. Matt's coming later today, do some work, figure out why it set its uh, wiring harness on fire. Uh, it's demoralizing because it was supposed to be a quick ball joint, some bushings, get it back to Matt to enjoy, and yeah. But, I mean, look at this. No, just no, don't, no. This, no, what, 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 where are these going? What are they doing? I mean, that's an airline, sure. Whatever it breaks, and you just dump the axle. These, these will burn your car down. You know, sharp edge, wire, not good there was fire around here somewhere like fire fire like flames fire i don't know where that went to i don't know what it did it was not happy there was some more smoke coming out from over there in that bundle so we got to take that apart but that rainstorm whoops shit so <laughs> Yeah, I will be um, 
drying this out today. Matt's due here in about six hours, so I hope it's dry enough for him. I've already told him, so it's not a surprise, but I do feel bad, so sorry, Matt. See what we can do. And I'm sorry about the wind noise, the remnants of whatever went through last night still here, but it is what it is. So let's move some carpets. <laughs> Yummy. Look at the color of that. Oh, I don't know, Matt. This could be a service. May come out cleaner and less smellier than before. Look. All right, I'm gonna prepare my. Uh, oh, I gotta go and move like three cars to dig out my vacuum cleaner, and then I'll be back. We'll catch you guys in a bit give you guys a little close up. We got a little standing water here. A lot of standing water there. I don't know what's on this floor. It's weird. You can see the water line. Other side. The other side's fine. So it's got to be Oh. <laughs> So this is why there's no headliner in it anymore. All right. So I'm guessing this thing, this corroded piece of shit right here. I'm not sure if you guys can see. So I will blow that out with air, make sure it all runs out nicely. Yeah. Okay. I'll put you back on your perch. You can watch me vacuum. I know it's great riveting TV. I mean, I subscribe to this channel. By the way, subscribe guys, come on, help us build this. We'll do more fun stuff. All right, thankfully nothing behind the rear seat. So we got the water out. It's a little moist, nothing bad. There's a fuse there, so that's good to find. Figuring out what that goes to. That's dryish. That's dryish. It'll dry out. Let's see how much water we got. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's water. All right. So this is gonna sit and drain and dry. And then when Matt gets here tonight, we'll see why she's smoking. Three hours later so welcome back matt's here finally and we haven't gotten anywhere yet except for just bitching and moaning about other people because we like doing that and bitching and moaning about cars because well we like old shitty cars so we have a lot to bitch about um so yeah we're back at the bmw crispy critter you know somewhere in whatever this was one up so you're gonna join us as we poke through this try to figure out what happened which might include a little plug the battery in and see what happens matt's got something and it was really like it was super duper on fire like these are so charred up and this was down inside the engine i, I pulled this right off the valve cover <laughs> so whatever caught on fire was really unhappy and really on fire uh, we have not assessed the damage at all, if there is much of any other than this stuff. Uh, so come along and let's <laughs> let's see what we get into. And just so you guys know the full story, I brought this home to do some ball joint work. I took it off my trailer. I was driving beside my truck. It stalled. I tried to refire it. Smoke started pouring out from under the hood. I couldn't get the hood open. I could not get the hood open and could not get the hood open. And I was freaking out because it was sitting beside my truck. And I couldn't get in the driver's seat of my truck because I was too close to the door. So yeah, uh, it was kind of freaky, but let's dig into what happened. 
surprisingly, it doesn't seem like it was any part of the air ride setup. All the air ride wiring, untouched, perfectly fine. Yeah, the so, sketchy shit was fine. The good stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah, come on. What were you, expect what were you so, expecting? So when you said it, things caught fire, I expected, because this wire, this is a, a power wire, it runs straight to the fuse box. I expected this had hit the valve cover and just melted through, but because it is pretty loose, it, you know, it's, it, it could touch if it wanted to. I haven't tied it up as much as I should have, I guess. I thought I had it tied up more, but nope, guess not. Uh, but nope, nope, it's in whatever, what, what is this? What? I have no idea. So let's just take a quick look. We cleared out the strut brace. And this blue set of things is what caught fire. Going into here and here. Ooh. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's crispy. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's standard battery tray. I like the extra screws put in for safety. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. All right, guys, another tech tip. If you're gonna use one of these really nice nylocks to stop the bolt falling out when you do something like this, make sure the bolt is long enough to go in the nylock. Seriously, look at that. Seriously. It's, it's, this is Bush League. Exactly. Bush League. This is the Ireland Engineering linkage for the throttle cable it actually it's really nice i really like that throttle cable when we sell this i might take it and put it on hans because i'm never selling hans mm -hmm. that's really nice we can build you one of these too that's cool oh you got an oil leak or something down there no way i like how your brake vacuum's hooked up well Manual brakes never hurt anybody. Except, you know, all the people who died because they have manual brakes. Things to worry about another day. Let's trace these wires. All right. Where does this one go, Matt? <coughs> Where does that one go to? Guessing this is the one for, yeah, this is for the compressor. Yeah? Yep. Yeah, that's the compressor wire. <coughs> okay. Next level. Next level. How do you tap into power? Well, you want it fused, right? So you come over to your fuse box, but this is old school fuses. So you just put a ring terminal, slip it over, and install it. I don't know if this guy is an idiot or a genius. That's amazing. All right, let's get this thing. <laughs> Cable ready? Oh, fire extinguisher. <laughs> fire extinguisher. Right there. All right. Fire in the hole. Okay. Seeing any fire. Not seeing any fire. Oh, that's good. I'm sure it doesn't have a spark. My guess. 
me get my power probe. Alright. Let me try to fire it up. That blue wire was to the coil, right? Yeah. Alright. Try now. I don't think she's sparking. Smells like fuel. And grab a, 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 a spark plug. Okay. Go for it. I wonder what doesn't work now. Yeah. Tack work? I didn't even look, honestly. Keep her running again? I ain't a killer, but keep her running. Okay. Cool. So we're gonna run a new positive to the coil. And then we can cut out everything. Everything, Matt. Can I cut? What can I cut? Can I cut it all? I don't know what this crap did. Like, did this right, like what? Is, yeah, like, what, what is this? What is all that? Let's let's see if the internet can tell me. A few moments later. These control the heat. Woohoo! <laughs> These control those. So, I'm a half a mind to just, that's your voltage regulator by the way. Okay. Yeah. I wish I could find a place just to unplug this thing. But it seems to go into the main harness. Maybe? Hold on. A few inches later. Okay, so if you go into that, that I don't want to cut. Where's my snippers? Okay. Bye. Adios. Tschüss. Ciao. Auf Wiedersehen. Okay. Find that melty meltiness, which is back here somewhere. Alright, here it is. Did the melty mist, meltiness happen to a green wire? It was a red wire. No, but it connected up to a... Yeah, because I pulled frayed, red wire This frayed one right here. Yeah. yeah it's green. Is it this green one? Well, this literally only... Like, there's this black wire yep. that goes to the go. cable. The coil. This black wire goes to the cable. Coil. Yep. Here's your melty melty. So, this one should be, where's my power probe? And if I turn it on, 
that hey, thing. It's, it's getting power. power. This is power to the coil. So, and it shouldn't be? No, it should. It should. That's. So it's, it's good to about there. So I will find another wire. And we'll run a new wire here to there. Try it now. Oh, the temp gauge came back. Okay, so we have to put black, we have to put power to there. Okay, well, I think we're good for tonight. We have a running car again. Nothing's on fire. But my lower back is painful. So. We've made it run, we've made it run. We're back to square one, so that's good. <laughs> we're missing tachometer, we're missing temp gauge. I know I need to feed power to the temp gauge, and I'm guessing something else I cut was the tachometer. But knowing that means it'll be easier to find, and we'll work on that another time on Misfit Mutt's Garage. Thanks for joining us. Thanks everybody, see you again. We'll catch you soon. Thanks so much. Bye.